Hey, either either one of you or both of you. Um, you guys were going up against the one of the best goalies in the league tonight and put up six goals in the last two periods. I guess what does that say about what you guys can do offensively and the firepower that you have? Well, I mean, I, I think when we play the right way and when we take care of our end first, and uh, I know we sound like a broken record, but that's for us, that's the recipe to win in hockey games is is making sure we take care of the defensive side of things first. And offensively, we know we have enough skill and, and um, systems in place to, to score a lot of goals. And tonight we got rewarded on the power play as well, and uh, which is always good. And BK stepped up and played well. And um, Kemp's obviously made some big saves there in the second to, to get us going and turn the tides for us. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Hey, can you hear me? Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I was going to say, um, you guys have been playing together on that line with Mika Ranton in here for a few years now. Um, what is it about this year that you guys think is just working a little bit more in terms of point production compared to past seasons? Uh, I'm not sure. I think every year has been pretty good. Uh, you know, obviously, it's 20, 30 games in. we got a lot of hockey to go. Um, but yeah, we've had good starts before. Um, sometimes our second half hasn't been as strong, so we're looking to be a consistent line for 80, hopefully 82 games this year. And um, But yeah, I think we all have, we know our role on, our, on the line. Um, each of us bring a different dynamic, which makes us really good and really tough to play against is uh, we're not three of the same players. And yeah, obviously so far it's, it's been good. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. They, you're on a career play, career best pace for points, and you're contributing in so many ways, and including playmaking and generating. Does that wipe out any? Is that the, your measure of your play in your mind now? And does it does it wipe out any concern about quote unquote only four goals? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I want to score more goals, um, definitely. But um, you know, a lot of the of my assists are just coming from shooting and, and, you know, Nico and Gabe going to the net like tonight. So um, obviously trying to play make, but still want to generate a ton of shots and hopefully try to find some more goals. Uh, like you said, I have four, which uh, isn't fantastic, but um, you know, it's not only about that, I guess. It's easy to say that when you're not scoring, but um, try to help out in a lot of different ways. And like I said, uh, half of it's just shooting it and, and getting assists that way. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, I think uh, I think it was in Toronto. You said that you thought Kale was going to run away with the Norris, and now that he's he's penalty killing more, I think he's out there for all the penalty kills tonight, and they didn't score while he was on the ice. Um, what do you think that can do for for his case for that award that he's taken on that responsibility? Should have won last year. Yeah, should be a second in a row. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think all of us saw that he's the best defenseman in the league. Uh, probably is even. His first year, he had close to a point a game, um, especially last year. And this year, I mean, he's going to easily score 30 goals. Um, you know, he's so dynamic. And like you said, he's killing now. He's he's maturing. He's, he's physical. He, he does he does everything. Um, and he's super even kill. I mean, every game, he's bringing his best. And, um, you know, n no, not many teams have a number one defenseman. And, you know, we have the best one, so we're lucky. And, same with uh, all of our D are, are very special moving the puck, but uh, I think him and Taser, you know, are, are a treat to play with and the best pair in the league. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. You guys are the highest scoring team in the NHL and as you're the top line in the NHL in many minds, have you found that balance between pushing for offensive power, firepower, pushing the pace and defensive responsibility? Yeah, I think that's that's always a balance that you strive for. And, and uh, like I was talking about earlier, I think that's the key to our team success is making sure our uh, our focus is on the defensive side of things and making sure we're in and out of our zone quickly and, and defending hard and helping out our, our goalies as much as we can and, and making sure we're playing in, in the offensive zone. Um, like I said, we, we have enough skill and we have enough offensive depth to, to score a lot of goals. And, and for us, we know we can, you know, win games like this, but um, it's important to, you know, to keep in mind that coming down the playoffs, it's not going to be seven, one, it's going to be two, one, two, nothing, you know, tight, tight hockey games. And, um, and those are the games that, 
you know, we look forward to playing, and, and, and that's where the defensive game is going to be something that we rely on, and um, we just got to keep working on it. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, Jared, I, I guess – was that the best you've seen the the top line play this season starting in the second period? Yeah, I would say yes. Yeah, I thought, well, even right away out of the gate, I just thought that they were involved physically, real assertive on loose pucks. You know, I, I liked their game all the way around. They checked the right way and they got rewarded for their hard work. They were a hard working line tonight. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. Has Nathan McKinnon's game evolved a little bit in that he's he's doing more he's doing more than scoring goals for you and not scoring goals is not a major problem necessarily. Yeah, I got asked this the other day too, Terry, and um, I don't see a bunch of difference in his game from the past uh, previous couple seasons. Anyway, um, I think he's been a little bit snake bit, you know, with his shooting, um, but he's maybe. You know, there's been portions of the season where he hasn't been shooting it as much. He's been looking to distribute the puck a little bit more. But recently, you know, we've had some conversations about him making sure that he continues to take his shots when he gets into scoring areas, if he feels like that's the play and that's his read. And I thought he did that in Chicago, and I thought he did it again tonight. He got rewarded for with one tonight and um, could have had a couple more. So, you know, I, I think it's just – part of his game he's he's he understands where the open men are and if he sees him he's going to pass it and if he feels like it, his shot is a better option then he's going to use it and you know he's putting uh, some of his line mates in some real good scoring areas with some good passes and and they've been capitalizing so he's got more assists and, and less goals this year Eric Dean Mile High Sports hey Jared after Nazem Kadri went down there earlier in the game uh he seemed to stay on the ice for a little while before skating off and, you know, to the bench and then eventually to the locker room. Was that the concussion spotter pulling him from the game or was that something where you guys felt it was necessary for him to get checked out? No, he was fine. So, I mean, he stayed down for a little bit and took a hard hit, um, didn't hit his head or anything. And he was fine when he came to the bench, but it was a spotter that pulled him to the room for a little bit. Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Hi, Jared. I guess a little overshadowed by your offense tonight, but you gave up an early power play goal. And you killed off four in a row, including back to back early in the third. They get a goal, maybe things change. So you have to be pretty happy about that. Yeah, I like I like the kill in the third. I mean, they were on a big push and um you know, we killed one and then we spent some time in the zone five on five. It, we had to kill another one. Um, but stringing together four in a row, we haven't done that for a while. Um, I even thought, you know, they got a fortunate bounce on on the first one and Kemp's was a little bit slow getting over there. I don't know if he missed his push. Um, pretty good shooter coming down the flank to that side, but it was a little bit delayed for uh, Kemp's to get over there. So I thought as a whole, the penalty kill did a nice job tonight. They were aggressive, um, sort of dictating where um, Winnipeg was going to go with the puck. We did a pretty good job of protecting the slot because they're pretty dangerous at finding seams and, and, and using their shooter in the middle of the ice, which we did a good job of covering. So I uh, gave up a few point shots, a few flank shots. But you know what I liked in the third is our D were getting out and flexing and and getting some big blocks here, and then Kemp's was making saves. So I thought Kemp's got better and better as the game went on, um, which is a big part of your penalty kill as well. But they did a nice job tonight. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. And Jared, what did you think of uh, Bone Byram's play, especially compared to his first two games back from the injury? I think getting better and better every game. You know, as expected, he missed a lot of time. Uh, pretty safe first game, you know, the second game he was more involved. I thought he did a nice job tonight, though. It just, it just seems like he has to he has to be a guy that plays an assertive style and he's part of it on the rush and uh, physical defender and, and saw more of that, the, the physicality defending tonight. Saw him jump into the, into the rush a few times, made a nice play. I think McKinnon kicked one out to him at the Ozone line. He had a mid cut and rung it off the post. I think that was in the first period. So uh, scores at the end, had a couple points tonight. So I thought um, 
I, I think he's just been getting better and better for sure. He's still got a little bit to go from what he, where he was um, pre-injury, but I know it'll come. He's he's been working hard and. Um, you know, just you got to get some game reps and, and start feeling a little bit more comfortable. And as he does, he's going to play better and better. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Jared, you've been coaching Eric Johnson now for however long it's been, five or six seasons. And uh, at 33 years old, he seems to be having uh, quite the rejuvenated season. Just how does he compare this year compared to obviously not last year, but, you know, seasons past, does he just seem like he's, a lot more, uh, you know, offensively, pro like producing offensively and defensively this year. How would you compare that to past years? Yeah, I think his game's been up and down a little bit, but tonight was one of the better games that I've seen him play in a long time. Um, he gets the two goals the other night in, in Chicago. He's playing with confidence. So for, for Eric, the key for me is he's got to make sure he's paying attention to the details. And he's got to play that physical style. Like I thought he was really physical in the battle tonight, um, competed in all the battles to ch try to win the puck back. Uh, the detail to his defending was real good. And, you know, if he, if he gets loose in that, um, it kind of leads to more mistakes. But I think recently he's been um, playing aggressive, playing physical, and that's a little bit like I was talking about with Bo, like not just on the defensive side of it, but also being part of our attack. And um, he's shooting the puck pretty well. So, uh, again, I thought tonight was was a real good game from him. I was impressed with it. We were talking about it after the second period, how good he was playing. And part of that is, I think, just the amount of ice time that, that – um, he can play and have have that type of energy and play with that type of physicality because he was a difference maker under penalty kill, uh, made some nice plays offensively um, to shoot the puck right away on the on the cadre goal and then the play at the end for the Byram goal. I mean, he's been making good decisions and and it's just sort of sticking within that structure and becoming dangerous within that structure. We'll take two more here for Jared Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. I asked this of the players too, but you're, you're a coach and coaches seek perfection. So you've groused a little bit in the past about uh, playing too loose. Has this team found that balance between offensive firepower and defensive responsibility? Uh, we're getting there. You know, <laughs> there's still work to do for sure. Um, but I've liked our, our commitment, you know, like I, I thought the Chicago game, Chicago game, we were pretty good in our structure. Um, we got away from the a little bit of the competitive edge um, that we had in the first period. We didn't quite bring it in the second. And then they took the lead, and, and we were able to sort of fire back up that the competitive side of our game and, and had a good finish to the game. Uh, it's something we talked about today to make sure this is a real good team in Winnipeg coming in. They've been riding a little bit of a hot streak. They're a dangerous team offensively. We didn't want to run and gun with them. And it was pretty open in the in the first period. We were getting up and down the ice, both teams pretty well. Um, but our commitment to get back and, and, you know, we talked about protecting the house tonight. And I thought we did a nice job of that. All five guys coming back in there and making it tough to get slot shots because it's something that they're well known for. So, you know, I would say tonight was a real good example of defending the right way and, um, and, and being able to turn that into offense. Our, our transition game was pretty quick. So that's the type of game that we're looking for out of our group. I like to see us string a bunch of those games uh, together. It's been tough with the layoff. You know, that that's one thing that you work in practice on your structure. You work on um, the details to your game. Um, you get through all your systems again so everyone's sharp with them. And uh, but, but the one thing you can't really duplicate is that is that game competition, the physicality that it takes to have success, the second effort, the competitiveness in all the battles and and uh, the puck support. You know, you're trying your best in practice to duplicate that, but you're playing against your own teammates and it's just not the same. So no, I think generally it takes a couple games to get back into that. And, you know, this was our third game back. So we discussed it, that it was, it was time to really get back and, and be a hard working team and go out work an opponent. I thought we did that tonight. And last one here, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. How do you feel about uh, Murray's first game back? Yeah, it was pretty good. I thought he got better as the game went on. You know, I thought in the first period, uh, 
some of his puck decisions weren't great, but he competed hard. And then as the game went on, he got more involved, and he and he was he was better and better as the game went on. So that's uh, it's a good sign. He, he's missed a significant amount of time. So not unlike Bo, it takes it can take a little bit to to get back in the swing of things. But it was a good first game. All right, thank you, Jared. Thanks.